have here is I've got a set of screens, the same kind of screens we're using out, out there in the field. Same kind of screens you can buy in the store, but uh, the ones that we use out in the field are bigger. These We call these uh, lab screens, smaller. Okay, and I've got a, got a number 10 on the top, then I got a 12, that's smaller, right? Then a 20, 30, 40, and there's a cup on the bottom. Okay, so the reason I had to cool the gold is because this is plastic, and when I pour it in, if it was molten hot, Mess. it sticks to the plastic. Done it. Been there and done it. Okay. <laughs> Just another one of those lessons you have to learn. All right. All right. There we are. Give it a little shake. Okay. Anything that will sit on a 10 screen is legally a nugget. That's the definition. If it sits on a 10 screen, there's our nuggets. Wow. And so the, so the process is just to go through it. We got one little impurity here. Anybody with good eyes could look at that and make sure that's not a piece of gold stuck to it. That's gold. That's a gold nugget. That's gold stuck to a rock. Black magnetite on it. Okay, so there's our nuggets. Good start. So now we're down to the 12. Give it a shake. Notice that I lift the paper up. You know why? Because if you don't, the gold goes bouncing off right off the table. Been there. I've dumped six ounces off of your edge. Okay, so look. This, this, guys, look at this. The gold is flat because it's malleable, and when it's coming down the river, the rocks are hitting it, and they, and they pound it into these flat flakes. The iron is brittle, and it ends up crystalline and, and round, so it, it's quite easy. It's a blowing process. I put a little shake to it, and watch. There's the iron. Just like that. And it's the same. Why does that work? The fundamental, right? The fundamental. It all, it all keeps coming back to that. It's heavy and it's valuable. <laughs> now we're into the 20. We, interesting, that there was more that sat on top of a 10 that sat on top of a 12. Interesting on the breakdown. But there's a lot on this 20. Every deposit is different. Every deposit is different. All the all the, the amount of iron, everything is different. Every single, and even in the same deposit, it can change. Ooh, that's a nice pile. Okay, so here's where we get into the magnet. A magnet will not pick up gold, but it'll pick up a lot of the iron so that you can pull it away. It won't pick up all of it. Some of that iron is non-magnetic. But you can see that it picks up most of it. Now, in some places, it doesn't pick up most of it. Every place is different. It just depends on the mineral deposit. This, this one, we're, we're pretty lucky. And the reason that I put it down on the page is because while the magnet won't pick up the gold, it'll pick up the iron like in a net and it'll carry off gold with it. So, so what I'll usually do is I'll spread it out and I'll, I'll give it another one before I pull it off. Especially when you get down into the finer pieces. You guys see this? You see how this is happening? Look at this. We're getting rid of the iron. Okay, so now we're down. This is the 20. It's a blowing process. It takes some practice. I got about a thousand hours at this. <laughs> More than that. At least. It's like 12,000 hours. <laughs> and I, all I do is I just blow it out 
I'm looking for any pieces of gold. I get a little off. Bring it back to center. Do it again. Some some people like to use little paint brushes on this. We got a bunch in there. But Craig and I do it. We do it the manly way. Thank you, sir. Plus 30 here. This is the plus 30 size. Let's put that right out there in the middle. Plus 30. A lot. A lot in that size range. This is the size of gold that Rich and I were getting when we were sampling in that red dirt. And a lot of fines. But the. Uh, Looks just like the flakes we were getting. You or me? Yeah, I'm getting bad. I'm getting like, oh, yeah. close. It's because like, you're getting, turning into an old man. I'm going to be 49. Yeah, that's, 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 that's I get those magnifiers, Craig, at Walmart. So this this size blows pretty good. It's particularly good if there's not a lot of lead. Some deposits you get into, there's a lot of lead. Like the redeposits from the 1964 flood picked up lead from man-made stuff. Lead's heavy, deposit it, ends up concentrating with the gold. And this is just a, gotta get a little shaking. A little blow. You do not get every piece. You're gonna lose some. This, with mercury, you don't lose a piece. That's why we were doing it that way.